Excuse me. Excuse me. Ugh. Morning. I am driving down a dirt road. Uh, it's in the morning. It's right around sunrise time. But there won't be a sunrise today because it's mostly cloudy. So everything's kind of socked in. Uh, but so I'm on a back road here. Uh, there's a bunch of bison running around and there's some pronghorn in the neighborhood here too. So my plan is with this dim light and uh, wildlife to do some motion blur stuff. So I'm going to be looking for opportunities where the bison herd is moving or where some pronghorn are moving around, something like that and try and shoot some slow shutter speeds between probably like a quarter of a second and a fifteenth of a second, somewhere in there. And then I'll be looking for interesting things to do with motion blur. So, uh, in that meantime, while I'm doing that, maybe some light will come out. Maybe the sun will peek through some of the mostly cloudiness. We'll see. But I do enjoy doing the motion blur stuff, so... I'm not at all disappointed that there's no light coming through the clouds this morning. on the Grand. That's awesome. Taking some pictures of that for sure. Killer, I'm zooming in super tight on that. It's really nice. And the bison are making lots of noise. That's not me being gassy. Yeah, the light mostly went away on the Grand now, but it's still super pretty. And the bison might do something interesting here too. It's it's rut season, so the boys are chasing the girls around and fighting with each other. Generally going berserk, which is good for photography. And these bison are big and fast, so I'm staying right here at my vehicle. Safety first. Way to spend the morning. Hi. I love this scene behind me. I like that I've got shadow from the mountain that's that way. So I've got kind of a, a nice dark foreground with a beautiful patch of golden grass and then the mountains with some fog and some clouds. It's a really pretty scene that in color is really nice, but I think I, I'm, I'm visualizing this to be a black and white shot uh, when I get home. 
um, with some kind of punched up contrast in the sky, uh, probably a red filter to darken that blue sky. So uh, it's gorgeous. I had to stop and make this photograph. I really like it. I think the dark, the shadow, the grass really may, it helps the image here. Obviously the clouds do too, but I really like it. So when you see something you like, you got to stop what you're doing and take a picture. And actually, now that I look at it more, I think I'm going to do a panoramic to try and include that entire cloud that goes from there all the way back over to Mount Moran. Uh, so I'll just do it handheld. I could get the tripod out and do all that, but uh, there's enough light here. I'm getting a fast shutter speed. Uh, I can handhold this and it'll just be, be just as sharp and crisp. So I'm going to do that here. Got to lock the exposure into place and the focus into place and then I will take a series of photos across and then merge them together in um, Lightroom later. Perfect, now I'll double check, make sure they are nice and sharp as they're supposed to be and they are. So that should work out great. That should be a really nice photo, a nice pano. Color, it's going to look really nice, but like I said, I'm feeling the black and white on this one. Well, the, uh, the sunrise photography was actually pretty nice considering it was super cloudy, super socked in when I left the house. Um, but I got to do some really nice motion blur stuff. Well, I don't know if any of it turned out really nice, but I had a fun time doing it. So in my mind, that was really nice. Uh, on some bison and some pronghorn. Made a few nice landscape photos of the Grand Teton, which is always beautiful. And now I've, I've got to be at work in an hour and a half, and I've got about a 45 minute drive to get back to town. So uh, I'm doing a quick bear loop here, <laughs> driving some back roads uh, to see if any bears are out this morning. So I, I would love to find one. It's a low probability today I think but you never know holy shit, there's a bear I, uh, I jinxed myself when I said it's a low probability today and there was a bear in the road but I'll go slow here and see if maybe he wants to pop back out and say hello that was funny so the the bear that I stumbled across there turned out to be actually three bears. That was the world famous grizzly bear 399 and her two new cubs that she had last winter. So that was pretty exciting to see them. I didn't get any photographs of them. Uh, but I'm going to spend a few minutes here doing some slow back and forth to see if they come back to the road and want to get their picture taken. Was not able to find the bears again. They just poof, disappeared, uh, which is what bears do in the woods. So I got to get back to town now. Wish I could stay and look for the bears, but it was a great start to the day. Hope you have a great day too. See ya.